What up though YouTube? It's your boy Chamo. Um I've been getting some mail, I guess, asking me what does Chamo versus Ryan mean? What is Chamo De Lore and what is Ryan De Lore? And um uh, basically I want to let people know who they are. Chamo, as you guys already see, I do poetry and basically most of my poetry it's always written by Ron. Ron is the one who will sit back, lay back. He will write what it feels, but he is someone that will never be shown in public. He can't perform it. He can't do it. Chamo on the other hand that's the person that maybe <laughs> he don't care he can get on stage do what he have to do in front of millions and he'll do do his job basically um i also had a question where did the name chamo de lore come from where did de lore come from Chamo, if you guys remember, maybe two years ago when I Love New York series first started, she had the gay assistant Chamo. Back then, I believe I was in 11th grade, and a few of my friends like that called, well, told me, like, you remind us of Chamo, because when he comes out, he comes out. Some days it might be flamboyant, some days he might just be fierce, you never know what you get. Um, so they told me, like, uh, my name was Chamo, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be their new Chamo or whatnot. So I thought about the nickname or whatnot, and I was like, okay, well, I need something to go along with that. I don't just want Chamo by itself it needed something else so I was sitting in class one day again some type of way they lord just popped up I'm not for sure how but it did um, if people speak Spanish day de, de it already means of so I gave chamo de lore a whole meaning of itself chamo of luxury so lore is basically like a short term for luxury or whatnot and um that's how chamo de lore was created it stuck with me for a minute then people just really started catching on to it a lot of my friends and then a lot of people when i was going out to perform i would introduce myself as chamo de lore and it stuck with me and I'm gonna keep it like that. Um, Ron Delore, <laughs> I took my name and shorted it down to Ron because my name is sort of plain. So, Ron, that's me. Um, Ron Delore, it basically just brings out my soft side, maybe. I'll be the one quiet. If you guys ever notice how Janet Jackson is when she's like, in front of like on a talk show maybe and she might be sitting there like chewing on her fingernails or whatnot that's how I am I'm a little shy but when I get in front of a stage of an audience and I have to perform or whatnot or if I do my poetry writing or if I'm dancing it uh it comes chamo comes out so you never know what you might get um Ryan De Lore, Ryan of Luxury, Chamo De Lore, Chamo of Luxury. It's real. It's crazy, but it's a name that I stuck with. And Chamo versus Ron series. It basically, trying to see can Chamo perform the poetry as Ron would do it. And in my mind, Ron might want to do it a certain way but when I perform it Chamo takes over and it comes out a whole totally different way I have did a few poems such as Powerful Black Woman the first one I posted 
so you guys just keep watching keep tuning in more things to come gotta take something to drink real quick cuz I like sort of just ate and I'm being fat yeah but um to all that's sort of good this is what you drink when I don't drink Kool-Aid anymore or when I try to stay away from pop well I do drink Kool-Aid maybe like once a month but I try to stay away from pop that's the Ron side of me <laughs> um, trying to stay away from a lot of sugar and a lot of acids and yeah whatnot and basically I drink Capri Suns and mostly water and maybe apple juice depends on how I'm feeling that day I really gotta be feeling apple juice um so yeah YouTube I'm gonna leave it at that you guys know who Chamo and Ryan is now so let me know what y'all think on the alter egos Chamo versus Ryan look out for that name it's coming very soon it will be it will be out there if it's not acting, it's in my writing. If it's not in writing, it'll be in my dancing. It will be in something. Um, so stay tuned. Keep watching. Don't touch that dial. <laughs> Peace to you.